Hey guys, we're, we're going to go over a issue that I hear a lot with um, kind of more of like the, the crowd that likes to lift weights, likes to, to bench press and do a lot of barbell lifts. And the issue is like dealing with low trap and rhomboid pain and stiffness. Now, commonly you hear um, do twice as much volume on a row than a press. And overall, that's a pretty good piece of advice. But over time, what I've been seeing is a lot of people getting that low trap rhomboid stiffness there. And it's kind of the nature of that rowing, rowing constantly, kind of retracting and depressing the shoulders. So what that's doing is it's overworking that rhomboid, overworking that low trap. We're not really addressing the other end of that, which would be protraction. So addressing that with activation of the serratus is a great way to deal with that kind of stiffness and pain as opposed to just always trying to roll that out or stretch that area out which kind of numbs it temporarily but doesn't really give you any sort of solution or, or resolve so here's two quick drills that you can do in your upper body warm-ups to help you um, decrease that pain and soreness and kind of get your shoulder moving a little bit better so the first one is a forearm wall slide but it's with a serratus emphasis so the serratus is a muscle right here. It helps with upper rotation of the shoulder blade and it helps with protraction of the shoulder blade. So the cue that I'll use on the forearm wall slide is try to reach out as much as you can. So you're trying to protract at the shoulder blade. And as you reach up, you want to think of this area right here, pulling, this, pulling the shoulder blade upward as you rise up. So it looks like this. So on there we're really emphasizing trying to pull that, pulling the shoulder blade upward as you reach up through that this area here of, of the serratus. What you should feel is a, like almost mild cramping or activation of that muscle group right here. Actually, then again, a common mistake too would be rounding at the upper back. We don't want to round. You want to protract the shoulder. It's, the spine is going to stay neutral the whole time. So again. up to the top here you'll just do a lift off and then reset Court, protract the shoulders keep the spine neutral and reach up so that's the first one the next one is a shoulder car a standing shoulder car you're gonna be right up against a wall now while you're performing this what I want you to think about doing is reaching out for something just just past your grasp Whole time. So we're trying to protract out. So you're going to stand relatively close to the wall. And the goal is not to touch the wall. So if you do end up touching the wall, you can move out a little bit. You're going to brace your abs. The rib cage is going to be down. We don't want any rotation of the upper back or the hips. You're going to start here and you're going to protract and reach. And you're going to bring it up as high as you can as far back as you can until you can't go any farther. Now again, when I'm here, I'm going to try to reach up. And I'm rotating into internal rotation, resisting rotation of my upper back, trying not to touch the wall. So I'm going to bring it all the way down, and then I'm going to bring it back the other way. As I'm coming overhead, I'm trying to reach up, reach up reach out. So what that does is it engages the serratus as you're reaching out and going into that overhead position, so creating more upper rotation of the shoulder blade. And when you're overhead and you're going to go into internal rotation, you're going to reach up farther into internal rotation. So try those two in your warm up, see what it does for you. It should allow a little, bit, a little bit more range of motion and even stability in the shoulder and hopefully 
decreases your pain in that low trap and rhomboid area.